Welcome to this edition of Cool Outdoor Stuff. I'm standing on the banks of the Sassafras River here in Betterton, Maryland, and we can see across the way the Susquehanna Flats. And if we went up the Susquehanna River just a few miles, we'd get to the Conowingo Dam. I was gonna to go to the Conowingo last weekend. I, I thought it would be good if we could get some video of me standing at the base of the dam and have it behind me, this giant structure looming. Because the dam and the issues that revolve around it are looming over us. The dam is full of sediment. Since 1928, it's been building up. And now every time that we get a Agnes-esque type storm, anything that even approaches the magnitude of Agnes, we run the risk of having two and three years worth of sediment come down the Chesapeake in just a matter of days. So it's a big issue. But I didn't get to the Conowingo last weekend. I went fishing instead. I, I went to the Catskill Mountains to fish the famed Beaverkill River. The Beaverkill is the birthplace of fly fishing in America. And in the beginning, it was a tremendous trout fishery until we abused it with land use and poor water quality and overfishing, the beaver kill declined until in the 1960s, there weren't many trout fishermen that would go out of their way to fish the beaver kill. But people got together and they worked on what they could do to return the beaver kill to grandeur. And today, it is a fabulous trout fishery. And I have to go there at least once a year to fish just to restore my faith and hope in what people can do to interact with their environment. It is a magnificent fishery. And so I ask, what is it that we're going to do here in the Chesapeake? Can we keep our eye on the ball. We need to address the issues that revolve around the Conowingo, but we also need to continue to make gains in nitrogen and phosphorus reduction in all of these other areas, agriculture, sewage treatment, stormwater runoff, septic. All of this is critically important if we're going to restore the Chesapeake to some grandeur, some place that we all want it to be. You know, the beaver kill is not wilderness, and it never will be wilderness again. The question is, what can the bay be? And can we reach consensus? The cool outdoor stuff for me is that great river and and I will continue to go there. I hope you enjoy these snapshots. I will until next year when I go back again. See you next time on Cool Outdoor Stuff.